They're on just about every corner downtown. When we saw these, we thought oh, we definitely have to try the scooter now. Whether you love them. It's so much fun and the weather is great right now. So the wind's in my hair and or meh, them. They're more like a touristy thing. They're cool, but like, I don't know. I'm not going to spend some money to maybe like fall off and get hit by something or whatever. E-scooters are still a thing in Portland. Now there are more of them. The city issued a new permit to Bird, letting the company deploy 525 scooters. Peabot also announced two other e-scooter companies get to expand their fleets. Bolt can bring in 14 more scooters and spin 116 more. Those companies met requirements for Peabot's safety incentives program. How about incentivizing wearing helmets? Since clearly obeying the law doesn't seem to be quite enough. I have a $5 bill here for the first person I see on an e-scooter wearing a helmet. More on that in a minute. During its initial 10-week pilot program, Peabot says riders took more than 253,000 scooter trips and traveled about 307,000 miles. County health officials tracked 46 emergency medical visits related to e-scooters, and Peabot received 16 reports of e-scooter collisions. There are city codes designed to keep scooter riders and those around them safe. Policemen really have to enforce it so people will know that it is serious. But with so much else to do, that rarely happens. Which brings us back to my very generous offer. We didn't spot a single scooter rider wearing head protection. Because while the city now permits 2,630 e-scooters, none of them... I would have liked if they offered it. ...come with helmets. In downtown Portland, Katherine Cook, KGW News.